Well, it's day two. I mean, I feel like it should be a lot fresher than what I am for this point in time. But, uh, already feels like we've been doing this for like three or four fucking days. Blame this idiot. He's in the bathroom now, but he's still an idiot. Staying up till five in the morning, partying on the first fucking night, ruining himself for everyone. Also, I am fucking shit at packing. There's so much shit. Just fucking push. And my toothbrush broke. <clears throat> so it was fully charged. It's an electric toothbrush. It's a cheap piece of shit, but it was fully charged. But now it's dead. And now I'm very sad about it. It's not like manual toothbrushes. They're pretty bogging. Anyway, I hate this already. It's only day two. It's going to get much worse. Here we go. One night at the uh, infamous Grand Hotel. <sighs> it wasn't as bad as people make out. I mean, yeah, sure the lifts didn't work. There was bugs in the lights and toilet doors can't be closed. Mattresses definitely uncomfortable. But you know, we were warm. Too warm, that's another problem, it was too warm, was, couldn't open the window and I'm a very fat man, that's just not on, I run very hot. <sighs> yeah, great, 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 great. Just a minute. No, put that back on, no, 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 no. It's perfect. No, it's, it, yeah, he's full of happiness. Fucking day two, it feels like day eight. He keeps banging. Suits my banger. I liked his ball once. He did. <laughs> he threatened me. I didn't threaten, I said, let my ball He said, preserve threaten me. He didn't expect me to put my ball out, and then I put my ball out, and then he upped it once more. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely diesel? Yeah. 100%? This is why you have to pay your bands. So bands. we can pay our bands? Yeah, so we can pay our bands. Pay your bands. Egg, man. See when you pay bands, you you're wee, paying for their fat fucking faces. A wee surprise, I'll fucking give a wee surprise up your arse. Cook. Thank you. Cook. Cook. Ready Cook. for your wee surprise? Go on. Uh, stars. Yeah, some buttons for Keith. And a wee fucking... Coffee crisp. Oh, yes. I, I got it for you because my man, my I man, know you, I know you're my a... man. <laughs> How you feeling? Tired? Yeah, glad that this is the last day of tour. <laughs> <laughs> One of our fans, Lisa Skyler, asked to find out what van snacks we have. So I got some Waitrose Italian Milano Salami. That's the kind of cultured band we are. Do you know what the biggest snack in this van is? It's not you. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is another van snack. What have you got? What is this? Pulled beef and bulgur wheat salad. What in the good lord fuck is that? Look at Higgy's nipple. Oh, it's fucking hard, isn't it? Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> He's just slapped me in the face with a salami. <laughs> Look at the state of my specs. We're coming into Manchester now. Home of all the musical greats like... Um, the Beatles. The, the Beatles. <laughs> Rolling Stones. Nirvana. Closet organ. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Six, four. We're trying to work out... We're trying to work out if the van will fit in the car park by measuring Keith against the van. But we only know his height in... What? <laughs> his, we only know his height in feet and inches. He's definitely not fit lying, in, lying down. What is it then? So that's... Uh, so 6'4 is 1.95 metres. So Perfect. fucking... You go walk under the barrier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Yeah, so you would get through. Hi. I don't think you will. You would? I'm pulling the fucking van. No, you're not. Yeah. It is. Anyway, that's what we're just doing, we're just measuring that. Oh, you need to stand against the back of the van because that's the tallest part of the van. Yeah. Back to the van. Back to the van. <laughs> oh, yeah. You are, as, no, you're as tall as the van. I see we just leave it here. Risk, risk a ticket. I just Thinking that it's going to work. How much the fine is? For probably 40 quid. Kids money. <laughs> yeah, and then it'd be 20, like, so it'd be a further 20 pound if we get caught. Or free. So how much, are we a gambling, are we gamblers? I see a risk, I will pay the fine now. <laughs> Got that committed. 
I'll do it. Come out of there, lazy. Aye, Keith Grantham will pay the fine if we get caught. BAFTA winner. <laughs> BAFTA winner yeah. slash I former home over. <laughs> It's a win. I hope we do get a fine so we can interview Keith and his rage on parking attendance. It's a, it's I'm a... like, I never fucking said anything! <laughs> Lee, describe this to me. Oh, it's the Vimto, isn't it? It's oh, it must be where they started the Vimto. The Vimto monument. Yes? Use my balls after two. A bee. Manchester's famous for bees for some reason. I don't know why they're famous for bees. We've just done a very short walk around Manchester. Seen all the sights. All of the beautiful people of this Mancunian... What is it? Is it Mancunian? Yes. Yeah. Or are they Mancunian? This is the extent of sightseeing you get on the road. You get to look at these fuckers. And a nice big building. Like I'm just comparing traffic lights really. Look at that, how many traffic lights do they need? <laughs> Started out slow. They didn't like my chat, but by the end they were fucking. Yeah, yeah. They were eating out my hand. I, I felt it, at the start it did feel like a bit like dead room, uh, gauging what you like. We got busy. Did get busy. It's good. And people started people are chatting. Coming tomorrow. And they didn't batter us again. Oh. They didn't have a fight though. Didn't Better get out of the road, eh? Yeah. What about you? I feel pretty good about it. It was the smallest. I think it might even be a smaller stage in the Leeds. Oh no no no! I yeah. would no no. The verve. Aye, but I'd, I'd, I'd room. It was easy to get off the stage in Leeds. That's true. That was that. I felt like I was in a penned in. In a cop. That's why you, you should have just thrashed about like a, a man possessed. <laughs> that was good though. Yeah. Uh, it was. We, we played way better than we did in Scarborough. Aye, a hundred, a one hundred percent. I remembered like the songs. The, the start of Tom Irves have yeah. gone. Yeah. They're there, but like they're the right amount now. Yeah. I felt like I was, you know, during flesh fetish, I was... I You're entered an the zone, I entered the You're zone. an animal! We need to get further into the zone, Jones. And we're going to go I mean, see our... Just there too. We're going to go see our pal Slacker now. <laughs> Hi, Slacker. Slacker. Woo! You talk we too cut much. two songs. Fuck off! You talk too much. That's how I got the people round. To quote the drummer. Higgy doesn't accept my greatness. Okay. You weren't handing out stickers and business cards, mid set. That's because I had a job to do, you prick. Shite job, you did a shit job. Fuck you. Fuck you. Higgy got schooled there and then had to go for something else. He's like, oh, we finished the time. Uh, well, um, you fucking, you, you talk too much. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Where are we going to eat? Go have some coke. Coke. Coke Can zero. Coke zero. Got some coke zero. Coke zero. Get a tale of woe for the people watching. <laughs> this is what happens in tour. You eat, I had a jacket potato, a baked totty with tuna and cheese this morning. It's a delightful... Tuna and cheese for breakfast. Tuna and cheese. For breakfast, it's fine. On the road, that's a good thing, because I don't want to eat shite. But then tonight, I was so hungry, I was like, do you know what, I'm going to eat a pizza. I'll eat a shite pizza to avoid having to buy, like, a kebab. And so I ordered my pizza. They took my money. It was an overpriced pizza, by the way. Didn't really want the toppings, but I decided I would take it anyway. And then they told me the person making the pizzas had decided to go home, hadn't told anybody, and so they had to refund me. So fuck them and fuck you. I didn't fucking. What are we gonna eat now? What are we gonna eat now? You can eat my ass. <laughs> what was to complain about? My van, Lee. My van. We're just throwing toilet rolls everywhere. This is fucking rare stuff. We need this. <laughs> Oh, we need this as we throw it in the fucking back of the van. Well, it's better in the, the van than on the fucking road. What? If I come back far, 
the fucking region. You're doing a great job. No. I'm supporting you. Tell that to my back. How many hours or minutes of the tar do you think you've spent not drinking? Um, well, I slept for about five hours last night. Yeah? So I'd say about that much. You look powerful up there. My wheels and my van! <laughs> What are you getting? God tier. Banana flake corner? Yeah. What's that? I would have bought a crate if it was there. What's that? Yogurt. No, I didn't, yeah. Beans. Edamac, why do you need beans? Because they're just, again, You nice. need vegetables? I need vegetables, I've too much shite. Then I've got some olives and all. Olives. With, which you had it. What am I going to eat? This is oh, the... This is what we want with these. Oh yeah, aye. This is the glamorous life of the after show. The 24 hour Tesco that shuts at 12. <laughs> Trying to find fruit and beans. Jackfruit and water. I've got uh, uh, my dinner, which is an Imperial Banana Chocolate and Banana Stout, 11.4%. I'm gonna get another beer. Awful. I'm gonna get another beer, fuck it. Pavlova pastry, whoa! Whoa! Natural hotel with a proper bed tonight. So that is good. Real good. I had two hours sleep in over two days.